We know that Jordan is on a short loan from heaven. He was born missing part of his brain, and he was only expected to live a few months. Now he's five years old. So we use lots of different equipment in PD Rehab. We use walkers and gait trainers and devices that help kids move around. A lot of that equipment is really expensive and so our ability to, um, to help get those things paid for to have in our department is really important for us. And some of the other things we use are really just fun things that you go buy off the shelf. We find a lot of potato heads and puzzles and small things, but those small things really allow our patients and our kids to develop. Xavier was diagnosed with leukemia on Christmas night, 2012. Watching your tiny six-year-old endure treatment is so difficult. His prognosis is good. St. John's Children's Hospital, we can't thank them enough for their superb care and treatment. They have been heroic. When a child like Xavier comes into St. John's Children's Hospital, the focus is always on care and healing at the highest level. When a family comes into St. John's Hospital, it's always about treating you like a family, treating your child like it's one of your own. The CMN funds go to many things at St. John's Pediatric Department. It goes to things in the uh, procedure room, such as the treasure chest, helps with supplies there to make the kids feel more comfortable. I love working at St. John's Children's Hospital because it makes me feel good to know that I'm helping other families. Cadence was born three and a half months early. We didn't know she was gonna live or die. Now, here she is, four years old, happy and healthy. To have this level of a children's hospital right here in Springfield, it's a godsend. So many factors go into caring for children like Cadence and other premature babies that enter the neonatal intensive care unit. It starts with a highly skilled team of physicians. Um, our physicians are called neonatologists, pediatricians who go on for extra training for neonatology and care of neonatal intensive care patients. It's quite an honor to be on that journey with those parents. The first time they hold or even touch their baby, the first time they put their baby skin to skin in K-care. It's just an experience that you can't even imagine. Funds from general Generous donors help us buy a transport bed. We have our own transport team in the NICU and just one transport bed can be as much as $89,000. We can buy specialty incubators called giraffe beds. We've purchased specialized ventilators. Again, you have to remember that babies are not just small adults. There is nothing like seeing a tiny baby grow to be a baby, you know, big enough and healthy enough to go out the doors. Mm -hmm.